Hello everyone, welcome back to the TJ Omega channel for day 908 of the daily content streak. And today we are discussing the Has the Hasbro Pulse fan stream Transformers Week 1. So when it comes to these, like my concern with these streams was that they're doing one every week this month. And my thought was, okay, they're either going to announce a lot more than they normally do, i.e. they're going to do stuff for Earthspark or retro releases, 40th anniversary announcements, etc. Uh, or, and this was my fear, they're going to take one, maybe two streams worth of content and they're going to stretch it out across four of them instead. It seems like they have taken the latter approach. So, as far as these streams go... There's not a whole lot to this one. We're going to cover it anyway because I always cover these and I always give my thoughts and my opinions about the new stuff they've announced, but I'm going to just cut to the chase here. This was lame. This one was lame. So let's go over it in detail here. Let's actually go over what actually happened so we can actually properly discuss it. Uh, so for starters, we have the usual crew here, which is BMAC, Evan, and Mark. Don't forgive me if I'm terrible with names and I can never remember their names, but here we go. So this, the start of the presentation is just the announcement that Omega Prime has officially fully funded. So claps all around. We still got about a week to go, a little bit over. Uh, so yeah, congrats. Uh, we're all going to get charged 250 bucks next week. Yeah. So, along with this, they did have an, an announcement and an update. We were hoping for a secret tier 3, because there was so much time left and this funded so fast. But that's not going to be the case. Instead, they're going to improve on something that they left off originally. Blue Bolts, the big weapon pack uh, for Ultra Magnus, was originally missing the white missiles, which I kind of just accounted to, well, why include the missiles if he can't fire missiles? Uh, but apparently that was something fans wanted, so now that the toy is fully funded and they're actually starting to produce it, they found space in the molding for where the missiles can actually go. Alright, so congrats, we're getting the missiles as well, so he's going to be as complete as the original. Alright, so minor, but good. Uh, they also pushed a lot of these t-shirts that they are printing for the anniversary. Uh, a lot of these are designs that we've talked about before. A lot of just 40 years plastered on shirts. A lot of really random box art thrown together. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why Silver Streak, Pipes, and Sandstorm are in that shot. I don't know why, um, I don't know why Roadbuster is in that shot. And not Optimus or Megatron or Starscream. You know, the, the ones you'd expect in that splash. Uh, it's weird. Oh, some of these are still pretty good. Some of these are still interesting shirts and just nice little memorabilia pieces. But also, um, yeah, <laughs> it's just a lot of the same old stuff. And a lot of weird choices. A lot of weird choices. Look at the red shirt here. Look at the red shirt here. Okay, so uh, once again, we got Roadbuster. Superion is there for a random reason. Uh, Twin Twist for some random reason. I legitimately don't know why. Hubcap. Hubcap is in there. I don't know why they picked the art they picked. It's so confusing to me. But, you know, it is whatever. It's your fashion choice. I'm not going to say whether it's good or bad. It's just not to my preference is all. Uh, they also looked at the MDLX uh, figures that we've already seen. These are the anime editions that are going to be available this weekend at TFCon for the very first time. It still saddens me that I don't get to go to TFCon. Uh, I, I mean, I booked everything else. I had the hotel booked. I was ready to order a ticket. I just had to wait for time off for the shop. Clearly, I'm here this week, so that means I didn't get time off from the shop to go. So I'm not going to be at the con, which means apparently there's also a pop-up Mega Man store in L.A. right now. Hello? Does just fate just really want me to hate the fact I'm missing out on this trip even more? A lot of stuff I wanted to do in L.A., man. Uh, but, you know, for those who do get to go to TFCon, you're going to get a hold of these first. We've talked about these before. They still look pretty good to me. I really like how the new colors really just bring a new life into these and make them look more interesting, at least in far as my tastes go. 
uh, pre-order coming soon. But yeah, you're going to be able to buy them this weekend if you're in LA. Uh, they announced uh, Figpin coming back to Transformers with their XLs. We've talked about this too. So we've got an anime, we got a toy style Optimus Prime. Not a huge deal here. Um, yeah. Um, and then we got Megatron as well. Again, in G1 toy aesthetic rather than cartoon. I think we kind of talked about these before. Like, I'm not a big... I don't understand the gigantic pin idea. I don't know why I would want a pin that's the size of an action figure. But I guess some people do. I'm not going to begrudge them. You know, it's your kind of collecting. Uh, you go do you. Uh, but this is just... Odd to me. Odd to me. Uh, now they you know they reveal the first they they reveal the next um, Transformer Silver Coin. We've talked about these in news roundups, like on and off for the past year. They've been doing these or so. Um, again, coin collecting not really my thing, uh, especially what they're doing here. So I get the the nice, very stylish packaging, the G1 box art, the unfolding box with a like very nice display piece, and uh, I understand that. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Okay, so it's a coin, it's a silver minted coin, but it feels like it's just a coin with the, with the, the front of the original Marvel comic printed on it. And it's got the lo okay, so it's got the logo still in the silver. So that's poking through the print. I don't understand. <laughs> this is weird to me. So this is weirder to me because I just saw where there's a company that's producing like basically like metal plates that actually have like the co like famous comic book covers, but they're three dimensionally sculpted, and these look really nice. And you know, you can actually see what it's supposed to be without printing color into it or anything. This is just a print. This is just like a weird print on metal. I don't understand things like this. You know, like where where barely anything is sculpted. Again, not my kind of thing. If it's yours, fine. It's just I'm having a hard time understanding it. And I've seen it where it's been done the same idea has been done more interesting. But that's just me. Uh, these are, again, these are also the first time that we're going to see print, or now King Charles printed or sculpted onto the coin. You recall the last time we talked about coins like this, they uh, they made a point that these were the last coins that were approved and stamped with Queen Elizabeth. Uh, but now, of course, we've moved on in the monarchy, so these will be some of the first with King Charles. Uh, so... I, I imagine for like the the silver coin collectors out there, there is something to that. I, I imagine that there is something uh, to you know to the fact that like the 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 transformer coins have now have experienced the changeover. Uh, so yeah, it's worth two dollars by the way. Apparently, uh, they also officially announced these. We'd also we've gotten to see these before, but they showed off a little bit of different artwork. Yeah, so these are just collector trading cards for Transformers. Uh, we've seen these, that they're being done as just like an all-in-one box, or they're being done by traditional packs. And it just features a lot of classic art, a lot of packaging art, and a lot of art from the Marvel comic book run. Uh, no big surprises here. Again, we had already seen these. This is nothing that was brand new to us at all. Uh, yeah, and there's, you know, we got the Metroplex art, and like some of that looks cool, some of it just kind of meh. And then the headphones. We've seen the headphones, too. We've seen the headphones, too. So, it occurs to me. It occurs to me that Hasbro's own marketing department is apparently so bad at what they're doing that literally they think everything they have not announced on these streams needs to be announced on these streams even though the companies producing them have already announced them. Even though this is weeks old, they still bring it up because it's the first time they have mentioned it. And if it's been out for weeks, if it's been known about for weeks and they're just now mentioning it in this live streams because that's the only place they know to announce stuff, ah, that's a failure in marketing. You know, you have socials, use them. You know, we don't need to know about headphones in this you know no one tunes in let's get we just be get this straight here nobody tunes in to the 
fan streams for headphones. We don't. We want to see toys. We want to see what's coming up. We want to know what you have planned. We want to know that you're trying to keep up with the flow of information we're getting from other places. We don't need to hear about your headphones that were announced weeks ago. But this is where we finally do get into the toys that they have actually, you know, planned. And to their credit, they did announce the Target exclusive 80, you know, Studio Series 86 Blaster, which we had listings for, but I do not believe, I went back and I searched through TFW quickly, I don't believe we actually saw this one. So, okay, you get one premiere. We knew about it. We knew about it, but we do technically get one premiere. And to be fair, it's like most of the other 86, like, reissue figures. I uh, know it's got, you know, it's mostly just that way you think. It's just more cartoon accurate colors, and it's more, uh, it's more opaque plastic. It's at this time, I do want to point out, whoever's doing the graphics for Hasbro also not doing their job correctly. You'll note here in the armpit, there's some white from the previous background that is still left in. You can tell these fo these photos were taken on white and then the background was photoshopped out in order to make this image. Uh, I do the same thing when I make the thumbnails for my videos, but I usually catch little things like that. And then when they show this pose, you'll look at poor Eject up here who uh, has a whole bunch of stuff cropped out. Not because they... Not because they went with a transparency, but because they improperly deleted out the background. Big, you know, it's just an ugly. It turns what is actually kind of a fun photo into just like a, one of the, another one of those weird, like, why'd you do that kind of stock photographies? It just, ah, it undermines it. So the more important stuff is once I get it in hand so we can actually see the differences between the two. You've got the painted gray toes now. You've got grays instead of blacks. You've got a white face instead of silver. And you do have a completely opaque and painted chest, including his animation accurate deca decal on the front. I much prefer this look. It is the blaster I remember in my mind's eye from childhood. Uh, and it just looks better. It just looks, it just plain looks better. I like that they don't go to straight black that washes out details. You know, I like having the completely opaque uh, cassette tape door uh, with, a, with a different deco on it, which means he doesn't look hollow. And I can't, you know, so I can actually imagine there's a solid robot there and not just a hollow box taking up the majority of his torso. So yes, I much prefer the look. I much prefer the look. And I don't think there's, do I even need to say, do I even need to say how much better Eject looks now that he's not in translucent plastic? They even made mention on stream of like, we've had a lot of people asking us for him in solid plastic, which tells me one, we didn't like the look of the clear and two, people know that clear plastic on figures like that is an issue. Nice to see. Now we actually have a blaster and an eject to fit in with the rest of our Generations and 86 collections. Great to have. Um, so, good. This part's good. Now we're just kind of waiting, like, how do we get a re how do we get a, a rewind out of this? Do we have to wait for, like, an... There's no such thing as an 86 twin cast. Like, do we have to wait for a selects of twin cast in solid plastic, too? Or are we just going to leave rewind out to dry? I don't know anymore. Also, steel jaw, ram horn. Like, you wanna you wanna get to those anytime soon? I guess not. I guess not. <sighs> no love for blaster. <laughs> like blast. Stuff being a blaster cassette. <laughs> oh well. The, I mean, the the tape deck mode looks good too. I like the boom. I like how the boom box looks as well. Like this this just looks so much better than the than the original release. And then they get to the announcement for this particular stream, which is the Mayhem Attack Squad. And guess what? Already known. <laughs> we knew all of this stuff already. None of this is new. Like, I go into these streams and I do these recaps. And I kind of go in thinking, like, I'm going to have so much to talk about. It's going to be so many things to go over. 
Not really. Not really. I mean, we've already talked about Needle Nose. Needle Nose looks fine. Needle Nose looks good. Um, yeah, we've seen um, Ozone and... Oh, man. I, was, I almost remembered both of their names. They mentioned that they pulled them from old G.I. Joe names that haven't been used in a while. Clean Sweep. The other one's Clean Sweep. Okay, fine. They're G.I. Joe names. It's still just Silver Target Masters. God, I wish they molded those out. Yeah, I mean, it's still, it just, Windsweeper still feels phoned in. Um, they also, like, they also mentioned that the head sculpt for Breakdown was sculpted in all the time, uh, the whole time for that mold. Uh, and I think it's weird, whereas, like, I, I've seen sentiment online of going, like, I wish that was Trash Master instead. It's weird that Bulkhead's rival is the same mold. They had the opposite opinion of where they thought it was actually kind of fitting that his, you know, that uh, Bulkhead's big rival in Transformers Prime was the same mold. They kind of liked that. So they kind of went with that, and I'm not sure I agree with it, but here we are. Here we are. It looks okay. It looks better than Bulkhead did. Need a proper Bulkhead that doesn't look like jank. You know, nah, meh. It's weird to anybody else. This is the first Prime breakdown released at retail in the u.s you know it's like properly sized and it's this of course that's not no 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 even that's a lie even that's a lie because this is a capsule line it's for amazon only <laughs> can't get any luck breakdown cannot get any luck and they announced the, the, the deluxe insecticons as well and you know this is again we're just running over stuff we've already heard you know, okay, Chop Shop and Barrage, congratulations, you exist. Uh, they explained Minotaurus and pointed out the Solus Prime emblem on the head and spun this whole crazy fan fiction about how Minotaurus is in this set and what that means, etc., etc. Uh, and none of it's ever going to be canonized. None of it's ever going to be put anywhere. It's. I'm not even sure if TF Wiki is going to post stuff like this. Um, it really just kind of felt like Mark just going off on his own little story tangent. But, you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's just basically explaining why there's a big a hammer transformer in this set as well. Uh, they did show off the new effect parts that come with it. So you have not only the big impact on the front, but also kind of like the, you know, like the, like the, the like, I don't know, I don't know, like the, 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 the backflow. You know, what do I call it? The what do, you know, what do I call the energy on the back? Like, whatever. Uh, yeah, those available right now as well. What's weird is, we know this capsule line has a third set to it. We know it has a bludgeon base set. And we don't know what that one is yet. We have yet to find out. Um, I thought they would announce it along with, you know, the rest of this capsule line, but apparently not. Apparently they're taking a little bit longer to get that one ready. I assume, anyway. And that's it. That's it. You know, typically when I do these, like, I expect those be like 30-minute videos while we go over everything, but I'm under 20 minutes as of this point, and it's just... I think one reason is because we've gotten so many leaks and reveals in the last couple days leading up to this. We kind of got excited for, like, the announcement of, you know, the Star Raiders and Cybertron Starscream, which literally everyone has tweeted me about. And then we just get this, a bunch of t-shirts, a bunch of product that was announced weeks ago, you know, I don't know. This was a wet fart of a stream. Uh, we didn't really get anything out of this that was any anything in particularly special or anything we didn't know already. Uh, for those playing at home, this was what my bingo card looked like. Uh, so I came very close. If they had actually announced or acknowledged the Legion, the Legend, or the, the sorry, the Core Class beast machines cheat or or that star scream i would have got a bingo down the center so uh the cards were all randomized go watch yesterday's video if you want to get a card of your own and participate for next week's stream they do randomly generate so obviously like some will get a bingo some will not obviously i came close so it's doable uh there's no prize it's just to make a little bit of fun out of the out of the streams because if all of them are going to be the way this one was. We're going to need as much fun out of these as we can get. So, 
That's one fan stream down, three more to go. Thank you everyone for watching, and as always, I will see you next time.